How to deal with the stressors in your life. I'm Dr. Trish Lee, let me tell you how. First, let's identify what a stressor really is, and then let me give you a brain tip to be able to deal with any single stressor that comes your way without wanting to run and hide and escape. Okay, so number one, what are the stressors in our life? They are seemingly negative situations that come our way. And I know that's loaded saying that it's seemingly, but when we think of a negative situation, that is a perception, a judgment that we are putting on what is happening to us, which creates a reaction. Now, the reason I'm even talking about this is because when something stresses you out, it spikes your brain into that extra fast, high speed, high beta. High beta is the speed that cranks up the nervous system, makes you feel anxious and stressed, eventually will have you ruminating about the thing that stressed you out if you don't deal with it. It creates hypervigilance so that you're always on red alert, looking for problems to come your way. So when you shift it, when you feel that stressor impact you, give yourself just a moment, 30 seconds, if you will, 30 seconds to respond instead of reacting. When you react immediately, more impulsively, without bringing the nervous system back down a little bit, bringing that fast high energy in your brain, letting it settle, thinking about what is happening to you and how you can respond to it in a calm and focused way. Now, the reason that that's important is because when you give yourself that 30 seconds to bring the brain back down, into that medium speed of calm focus, then you respond and using that speed, you are hardwiring in the brain pattern for calm focus. If you react out of that high, fast, high beta speed multiple times a day or all the time, you are training your brain to become more anxious and to stay anxious. It will perpetuate your anxiety. So to interrupt that pattern, you respond taking 30 seconds to decide how you are going to act from a calmer place. Now, if you start to think about this strategy, you'll realize it can be used in just about any situation. You slow your nervous system down, and when you do, instead of snapping at someone because you're irritated, you'll realize it's not that irritating and that you can handle it and you can instead say something thoughtful and intentional instead of snapping. It can happen every time you can learn to do it. So let's do this thing. And if you are looking for help in calming your brain down and becoming more focused, please go over to my website at drtrishley.com. I have courses that you can join that are very affordable and I'm always happy to work with people individually too. So remember, control your brain or it'll control you.